Hey guys, Path of Gaming right here, right now, bringing you another coaching session today with Romaki. And you are di uh, you are Platinum 3? Two. 2? Yeah. Okay, sorry, I don't recognize these perfectly anymore. I used to be able to recognize them a lot better. Um, yeah, great. So, what are you looking to get out of the session? Um, I would say I want to be better as a player. So I don't really care about ranks. It's mainly to get better and have fun. Perfect. That's exactly the, the style I like coaching. Because it's like, cool. it doesn't matter if you lose LP or win LP, but in the long run, if you get better, that's... That's an important thing. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to, like, one trick, one comp, and get to master this season and be in silver next season. No, no, that, that's not how I do not, not how I do coaching. I want you to understand the game rather, rather than just, like, force this comp, get to master. Yeah. Okay, um, typically, uh, there's normal components on the carousel. Like, what is your favorite component and why? Uh, normally, I start with bow, since I like to uh, to have direction first. Mm -hmm. I like to go with Jin normally. If I don't hit Jin, it's fine. I go with either Urgot or uh, Yone or maybe Jinx. It depends on what I hit. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's good. You have you have your component. You have your reasoning. Love it. That's good. Yep. And if I can get bow, I like to go with uh, belt. Yeah, belt is flex. Like I think defensive items are a bit more flexible, except that the meta is relatively shit right now. So bow is actually better than defensive items because you're almost always going for AD instead of AP. I see. But once AP is back in the meta, like one like next patch, you can play Heimer. Maybe you can play Lux and Vex. Then defensive items are probably gonna be better. Yeah, I used to prefer defense item, but. As you said, right now it's a little bit less interesting. Um, I mean, here it's a very minor thing. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll check it in the in the second video because like here, this these units are all fine. Uh, okay, so this is so this is you saying I forced Jin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I don't know if it's the right choice. Because maybe make ship armor make more sense to play flex. Yeah, hundred percent. You want yeah. you wanna you wanna keep your options open. Mm. Yeah, the quality is shit right now. The HD is processing. Oh, okay, okay. I started it like um, I think twenty or thirty minutes ago. Okay, so maybe at the end of the lesson it'll be in HD. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So like this is if you're if you wanna be a better player. Then it's always makeshift armor because yeah. it's a flexible option. Yeah. This is this is like sniper heart. It's really good. You can play Jin without snipers. Like you have just Jin and you don't have to play a shitty sniper, so it's really, really good. But you have to find mm. a Jin. Right? Yep. On yep. guard is a little bit more flexible. Why do you think it's a well yeah, it is a bit more flexible. Why? Would you would you agree with that? That it's more flexible than Sniper Heart? Yeah, I think it's more flexible because you can play Fiora or you could play... Uh, uh, what's her name? Samira? Yeah, you, you can play a bunch of... Uh, you can play Yone too and Kai'Sa. Yeah, so it's like you want to play Kai'Sa carry, completely different comp. Yone carry and like Fiora carry are kind of similar. Then there's Samira carry, there's Warwick carry. Like, yeah. this just means you're going to play one of the many challenger carries. Mm -mm, While I Sniper see. Heart, um, there's three comps. What are the three Sniper Heart comps? Jin. Yeah. Probably Mercs with uh, Misfortune. And... Oh, um, okay, then there's four. Know. Okay, then there's actually, then it's fine. Because you can play MF with, I guess, Mercs. Yeah, you can play Jin. And then you can play you can play a Tristana reroll or you can play Kogma reroll. Mm, true. Okay. Nice like makeshift armor is just it's getting a little bit of a buff next patch as well. Yeah. But yeah. like it's just flexible. Like you, you don't have to play snipers. And also your items right now don't scream snipers, right? Yes. <laughs> you have a Hodge or a QSS. 
Or a chalice. Yeah, so there's like nothing that screams snipers. Okay. No, no, what? I thought you were going to sell Zerstana. Okay, so <laughs> I guess... Yeah, so that's that's the thing. That is that is the the small thing here. Is that um, you typically want to play units that you want to keep? Mm. And I think it's better if you play the Ilawi over the Ziggs, for example, so that you can keep her. Like you're probably gonna mm. get gold here, so it's not a, not a big deal. But in general, on the creep rounds. That's why we have the second VOD, because this is like, these these units are all pretty good. But like on the creep rounds, you want to actually start thinking about your comp, and you want to play units yeah. you want to keep. Okay. Because like earlier I was coaching a gold one, and it was like similar issue. He just played the unit he got from the carousel for several rounds for no reason. Hmm. Yeah, like maybe, like, yeah, you, you don't have to, you could have bought, you, you don't have, oh, okay, sorry, uh, I'm going too fast. Uh, are you aware that you are guaranteed gold here? Mm. Yes. Now, now that I, I look back, yes. But yeah. at the time, I'm not so sure. Okay. So what is the most standard opener? I don't know the percentages exactly, but the most standard opener. That you get like on stage 1, 2, 1, 3, and 1, 4, like total for, for these three stages of creeps. I'm uh, talking I mean, I items, items and gold. And... Yeah. Okay, okay. Items, it's like three items with three gold. Um, items are correct. Like you, you get your starting item plus plus one extra item. Yes. Yeah. But the gold is there's more. The goal, I'm not sure. I think from three to six gold. And three to four ride uh, three items. No, yeah. It's uh, typically five or six. So let's 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 assess this hypothesis. It's it's you typically get uh, two. Yeah, you get either two okay. three cost or three cost and a two cost. Okay, I see. And now it's like yeah. So you bought the Ilawi, so you have everything important. So like now it would be so. Sell the TF for the Ezreal. Now it would be correct. Mm. Okay, let's see if you play your strongest board here. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Uh, isn't as pair better than Lissandra? Is it who? Isn't Ezreal pair better than Lissandra? Yeah, probably. Cause like yeah, you're, should... you're very unlikely to find more more Lissandras, right? At this point. Yeah, that's true. And like at some point you might have to sell her anyway. So it just I don't mind the Ziggs that much. Why why are you playing Ziggs over Ezreal here? Do you have like a good reason behind it? Uh, my reasoning was that the items I have would be more AP, and if if I get like more AD items, it would probably be on Trundle anyway. Okay, um, you're never putting you're never putting AP on 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 Ziggs though. Like Ziggs is just a, a trade bot. Mm. But why the reason why I like Ziggs better than Ezreal here is look at your look at your other units. Yeah, Yordle. Uh, yeah, uh, that's one thing. But like you all, you kind of mentioned it. You have a lot of AD. Mm -hmm. So if they have uh, like two or four bodyguards, then having Ziggs is actually a good way to deal with that shit. Mm, so like, true. if you can't have mixed damage, like a Ziggs is better than Ezreal because Ziggs does magic damage while Ezreal does physical damage. And you already have Tristana for physical and you already have Trondo for physical. Mm, so, true. good play. So I hope you get the Lulu here. Nope. Nope. 
Do you understand why I think you should get the Lulu? Uh, yeah, to generate more gold. Just, just buy her. Yeah, just buy her, yeah. and you can play her. Like, so, ideally, you keep you keep Lissandra and Lulu. But if you sell this mm. Lissandra, you can buy more units in the shop. So, if you buy the Lulu, what else would you buy? Maybe Talon. Yeah. Why? Because Darius doesn't do much, and Talon is overall, I think, a good unit to assassinate the backline. Very good. Wow. Very good. Yeah. Talon is, is one of the strongest uh, standalone units that you can just sprinkle in, and he will kill a backline unit. So yeah, great. Cool. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, you don't do it. Almost. Oh. No, I didn't do it. So this li like this list doesn't actually do that much, right? Yeah, yeah, I see that. <laughs> I'm glad you're not making the the Hodge, because that uh, it's one of the weaker items in this this set, I guess overall. Because there's so much healing, that's why Hodge has fallen off. Uh, okay, so yeah. I want you... Yeah, okay, you're buying the shop. Okay, I was going to say just like get in the habit of buying out the shop. That's good. Hmm. Hmm. This is enticing, no? Is this not enticing? Do you see what I see? Wait. Maybe the Samira? Yeah, and... Oh, and the Swain and the Talon. Yeah, you got a three Imperial. Imperial shop. I don't know, like, this probably doesn't happen that often. Mm. But you got a three Imperial shop. That's pretty high roll. Hmm. And I would say that, like, with this setup, Samira might be a little bit stronger. Like, with, with the three Imperial. So now you sell the list. Sneaky double level up for Arcanist. Wow, okay. Okay. I mean, I guess you couldn't have bought... Wait, okay. If you want to do this sneaky level up business, let's do the math. Um, two, four, five. Two, four, five? Mm -hmm. uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm getting ahead of myself. You want to keep the... You want to keep the trundle. So it's two, four, five. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you still could have sold, you could have sold, I guess, the, the Ziggs and the Tristana and the Vi. Mm -hmm. And you could have leveled up and you could have played three Imperial and Bruiser. Yeah, that's better. Which I think is a little bit stronger. Yeah, I think so too. And it's just, it just like important to at least like see it, acknowledge it. Maybe you don't have to. You don't have to do it, but like, just know. Okay, so <laughs> that that was an option here. Like that. Like uh, one thing that some sometimes players struggle with is using the shop as like kind of uh, an alternative to their board. Because people look at their board, they look at their bench, and then they don't realize, oh, there's stuff in my shop that I can actually swap out. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, here. That's yeah. Sorry. What were you saying? That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, wait, did you... So you're making mutant spat? Shit. Oh, okay. That's not you. Okay. Almost scared me. Almost thought you're making mutant spat. Are you familiar with Trunder Reroll, by the way? Uh, yeah. That's the comp I played uh, when it was uh, S tier. Mainly. Okay. So how do you feel about summoning QSS here? Like QSS and putting Glove on Trundle. Yeah, but that forced me a bit into Trundle reroll, right? Partially, yes. But it also almost guarantees you a win streak until end of stage three. Mm. So like that is another important thing that I want you to think about is... Because we had a huge discussion today uh, with, with the guy I was coaching 
about Rageblade. He's like, I'm never making Rageblade. It's a shit item. And it was really hard for me to convince him that if he has four bodyguards and a cogmount for Rageblade on stage 2-1, it's actually good. So what I'm saying now is two-star Trondle with QSS on stage 2-5 is really good. So that's, I would say, all stage 2, all stage 3 is still pretty good. So then, is making a QSS, that's kind of a shit item late game, worth you win streaking for a stage and a half? Probably. Yeah, I mean, like, that's at least a question you should ask yourself. Hmm. Right? Like, it's, like, it doesn't have to be, like, a... It's obviously yes, it's obviously no, but yeah, probably. So that, like, now I want you to to kind of experiment with these things. You know, like, uh, limit testing? Have you heard of the, that phrase? Yeah, of course. Like I played low before. Yeah, if you play low or Dota, it's like the same thing. Like, you limit test? Okay, what happens if I dive their tier 2 tower? I hope it's tier 2 in, in low as well. Like, right? Like, there's the first mm -hmm. tower and then the next level tower. Like, what happens if I run and chase him all the way there? Oh, I can kill him. Cool. Or no, I, I die. So maybe I can just go under the first tower and fight, and then the second tower kills me. Okay, so like next time I know I can't go that far. So like test it. Because like today we had another, another discussion between Fiora and Akali. And I was saying two star Akali is better than two star Fiora. And like it was it was a discussion, and we ended like I convinced him to play Akali, and she was better, and he won the game. Because that was like the live, we had a two hour session, so there was a live part afterwards. But it just, like, test these things. So, like, maybe making the QSS here is a complete grief. But I would say, like, the tr like the Trundle without getting CC'd at all would be a complete beast this early. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So, like, that's kind of what I mean. Like, having the, <laughs> having the option open. And I like and I like to test these things myself. Like yes, there are other people, like other guides who test it, but it's like, okay, so I tested it myself and I know it's actually worth it or it's actually not worth it. Mm. And QSS is not the worst item on Jin. Like it's an okay item. Oh wow. Nice. That's a bit of a high roll. Indeed. Okay, so okay, 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 okay. So, here, going back to what I said on stage one. Yes. What do you think you should be playing right now? What unit should be on the board? Mm. Definitely Mundo. Mm -hmm. Any other changes? Uh... I kept it this way. You kept it, yeah. But uh, but I added the Mundo instead of Ilawi. Wow, what? Maybe four Bruiser? Yeah, why don't you play Mundo yeah, and Vi? Yeah. And you can keep the Tristana. Yeah, yeah that's better. <sighs> and the issue is, like now, if you play Mundo and Vi, you have, uh, you're at 16 gold. And you have six gold on your bench. You don't want to sell the Tristana, so you have six gold on your bench. So That's if true. you if you like now like you might have to okay, so you might have to sell something for okay, never mind. Oh, you do have to sell something. Okay, please get the mundo. Oh my god. What is this? Oh shit. <laughs> So, uh, so here, if you took out the shitty Ziggs and you played the Mundo yeah. and Vi, you can sell the Ziggs and you can sell the Lulu and you're still at 20. Mm. But because you played these units, you cannot sell them, so you cannot even buy the Mundo. That's like, true. Does it, yeah, does it make sense to you? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, so now I want you to, like, on every creep round, that you're not doing, like, a big pivot... I want you to think about the units you're keeping. So on creep rounds, you can play duplicates. Like, usually your units are strong enough. So, like, maybe you play two trundles here. If you don't have your two-star trundle, like you, you play two trundles. And you take out the zigs. And you don't care, like, if you have to sell the zigs, you sell the zigs. 
hopefully you find another scrap at some point. I mean, if you're on a five win streak, you probably don't sell any of your units unless you have stronger units. But if you're on like a one, two win streak or loss streak, you don't care that much. So it's better to just like play the units you want to keep and take out everything else so that if you get gold, you can make the next interest threshold. Mm -mm. Yeah, simple, simple yeah, no, enough, right? Yep. And it, 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 it makes a huge difference because like sometimes... Uh, you do get enough gold to make the next interest to hit the next interest threshold, and then if other players are not doing that and you're getting richer than they are, then you have a great advantage. Mm. So like whenever yeah. I'm smurfing in in platinum or or diamond or below, I uh, usually have a way better economy, so it, it's really easy for me. Okay, why are you leveling up here? To keep my win streak. Mm -hmm. And how do you lose your win streak? If I'm weaker than other players? Mm -hmm. And how do you know if you're weaker than other players? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Is there an answer to this question? Uh, yeah, it's by scouting. If uh -huh. you scout and you see that you evaluate that the other players are stronger or weaker. Correct. So you have 30 seconds. So please, at least look at the other guy who's streaking, who has a four streak or also a five streak. I'm not completely sure. And then decide, okay, um, I beat him if I put in Tarek, or I don't beat him anyway, so who cares? Those are your kind of your two options. Hmm. While you just level up and play Tarek, without knowing. Yeah. So maybe it's a waste of money, maybe... Okay, um... <laughs> what are best installed Jin items, if you're, if you're actually going to be forcing Jin? Last Whisper, I, and... Giant Slayer. Yeah, Giant Slayer. So, don't you want to make Glass Whisper instead? Yes. But, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Because it's like, okay. If you want to win a Trundle, I would recommend making QSS. And then you can make... You can still make Glass Whisper. Like, Glass Whisper QSS is probably... Um, the better option for... Like, okay, obviously Runas is great on Trundle. But Last Whisper okay. QSS makes your Trundle relatively strong enough right now, and it's decent enough on Jin. But Runans is, is a great Trundle item, but you only use you only make one item instead of two, and it's a kind of a shitty Jin item. Hmm. So now you're kind of like you're kind of playing Trundle, but you don't want to end up playing Trundle, but you're kind of making items for him and not for Jin. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah. Mm. So, it's like making this is is probably not your your best option if you think about it. Yeah, right? so last whisper with QSS. And do you, like you understand why? Yeah. Or just last whisper. Okay, here uh, 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 um, why does Sway not really need blue buff? Or especially in this case. He's one star and he's, he's serving as a tank, maybe? Yeah, it's the second part. Okay. So... How do tanks generate, generate mana? Uh, generates mana by attacking and being attacked. Yeah, or like mo like mostly tanks generate more mana from getting hit. Hmm. Right. So like these things, like like blue buff Shojin and like things to get units to cast more, are typically on the back line because you have a key unit that needs to cast. 
So Tristana or Ziggs are both better users. It's actually crazy. Like I, I've seen some some other players do it, and then I started doing it because it's like, oh wait. Interesting. Ziggs actually, I mean, Tristana actually has a low mana pool, if you look at it. So here is Tristana at sixty, and Ziggs at sixty. Huh. Interesting. Cause, what are you like? What are you swapping Tristana out for? Eventually. Eventually? Yeah. Jin. Okay, and Jin plus what? Uh. Like the key unit that uses blue buff. I think it's Seraphine. Try again. Oh, okay, okay. You mean, um. We're in the Jin comp. Oriana? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, once you take out Tristana, you're putting in Jin and Oriana. So, like, that's another way to think about, it. like, you're selling Trundle and Tristana for Jin and Oriana. Mm -hmm. Eventually. So, like, you yeah. can put your, your items that go on, on, on Jin, go on Trundle for now, and Seraphine can go on, on Tristana or on Ziggs or something like that. It's also a little bit easier, like this way you have to pivot more units. So like you can you can probably keep if you had the Mundo, you could have kept at least two Brawler and you could have kept the Taric and you only pivot these two units. You only change these three. And then next round you can change the other three. Because if you're trying to change all six or seven or eight units in one round, it's usually just a clusterfuck. So yeah. <laughs> you don't want to yeah. be in a position where you have to change way too like all units in, in one round. Only there's only Bebe that can do it. Yeah. <laughs> and he actually like rolls and he actually like he's not even going for a particular comment. It's like, oh this is a good unit, this is a good unit, and he has like a completely yeah. different board with, with actually good units. Which blows my mind. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, so looking back, we beat this guy anyway, right? Yeah. So like the level up maybe was a little unnecessary. But like you didn't even look at the other guy, so yeah. Yeah, I think I, in the moment, I was a bit overwhelmed with uh, the options and the items and everything. Yeah, that, so that's fine. Think, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So is it better, if I come across another situation like this, is it better to blindly level up or just don't level up at all if I don't have the time? Um, if you're on a fight, okay. Um, if you can add something useful, then you can just level up. So like here, the Terek the is close. I'm gonna say like Tarek is very close. Like leveling up for Tarek. I don't think the power level from Tarek is uh it depends on the socialite spot. It's very close to be honest. Oh my god, okay, yeah. Very nice high roll. This is like an insta pick, right? No. <laughs> I don't pick it. How is it not an insta pick? If your if your first augment says I'm forcing snipers, then your second augment has to be I force snipers. Yeah, but uh, I think I think there my logic was that I wanted to play with uh, with Enchanter too, so I ended up picking this. And since I had a Tarik, I wanted more heal for now. Does that make sense? Yeah. Actually, there is there is some more logic to this. Um, why is the, the, the sniper's nest lower value in this game in particular? Because of the socialized spot? Nope. Based on like other things that happened in this game already. I don't know. Since you have sniper heart, you're only gonna have one sniper. Yeah. So technically, the sniper's nest is only helping Jin rather than helping Jin and MF. Mm, I see. I see. So like, for me, it was it, it would still be insta pick sniper, but this is not terrible. Okay. Uh huh.
Okay, yeah. I don't mind you trying that out, but there's no need to sell the blitz. Hmm. This is another thing I see a lot of people like, they buy something like, oh, it's not good, I'm selling it. But why? You don't need to sell it right yeah, away. I should have waited, I should have waited until the... Uh, like if yeah. you win this round and then you just chill. True. Oh shit, that was close. Yeah. Um, it's unfortunate. But yeah, now you're, I, think, I think you're still in a fine spot. Except your last pick, so yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe get. No, never mind. Um, okay, you definitely want another tier. Uh, or, like, okay, at least explain why you were grabbing the tier. I went for the tier because I didn't want to make TG. Why not? I have enough. I, what? Why not? That's a good question. <laughs> Um, yeah, L looking back, I think Glove would have been better in that spot. Because TG goes on Ilawi and it's it's a frontline item and it's pretty good. Yep. Yeah. And it's also yeah, like, what... okay, you, you don't want to make a Hodge, do you? No, I don't. I don't want a Hodge. So then you don't make anything, right? So like if you grab the Glove, you make TG and you, and you get stronger. If you gra grab the tier, it's just going to sit on your bench for two more rounds. Yep. So here it's just chill, like it's never level since you lost. I hope. Yeah. Nice. That's probably better since you I and you're doing that since you lost, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Perfect. I mean, okay, you beat him, but like knowing that this guy's playing mercenaries and is is this low? You also want to be sure that you at least beat the guys who are playing mercenaries. Because, like, if, mm -hmm. that, if this guy dies, it's GG. Like, no, sorry. Like, if this guy cashes out, he's probably going first. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you kill the mercenary guy, like, if, if the whole lobby decides we're going to kill the mercenary guy, they guarantee that no one else is going eighth. And he's, like, the, the easiest person to kill, usually. Hmm. So it's kind of like if you know if you know like poker. I have you played a bit of poker? A little bit. Okay, so like, if you're playing like a, in a tournament and people are starting to okay, why are you selling Lulu here? Because I end up pivoting. I think. I'm. Yeah, I'm getting back the Tarek. But why? You can just play her. For another One few rounds, round. no? And like, don't you want to play Lulu next level anyway for two enchanters and yordles? I'm I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious about what your board is supposed to be uh, next round. If it's not Lulu. Hmm. Well, Archangels, interesting. Okay, so we're basically where you made the QSS that I wanted to make on 2-1. Or was exactly. it 2-1? I think it was 2-1, yeah. So imagine yeah, how much it's... value you would have gotten out of the QSS had you made it two stages ago. Yeah, it would have been way better. And it just knowing that like I'm going to get like some shit items, I might as well make the most of this shit item because now on 4-1, it's really just useless. Or like... Very close to useless. Because now it's not CC you have to worry about. It's just pure damage that kills your trundle. Like early mm. on, it's like, oh, there's some, some random CC bullshit happening. But now it's like, usually you just die. You don't, there's not as much CC. It's just more about death. Yeah. And yeah, my reasoning, the, yeah. yeah. Sorry? My reasoning there was that the, the I wanted to, to keep the social light. Mm-hmm. So my reasoning there was to put Jen there, and so he doesn't get grabbed by Blitzcrank or yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, I mean the decision is fine. It just, it just yeah. a little bit later. That's that's kind of what I usually see, and it's uh, if it's like a GM or master player, maybe they make the decision like one or two rounds later, and the, the lower down you go, it's like oh you made it two stages later. So yeah, so just like yeah. think about. 
Think about your options items you can make and how much how much stronger you get right away and how they kind of fall off. Yes. Yeah? And back to the poker analogy, basically if if you're playing heads up and there's just a few people left and someone goes all in, you stop betting. And it's really frustrating, but like if you go all in, everyone else will stop betting against each other so that like they have the h highest chance to kill you basically. <laughs> That's poker. So it's like the same thing like okay, all of us need to see that this mercenary guy is weak. If he doesn't cash out, we're all top seven. Let's make sure we don't let him cash out. Mm. And you don't have to type it in chat. It's like usually at like higher elo, those bastards do it. Like when I play when I play mercenaries against like other challenger players, it's really difficult to cash out because they're like, okay, he's gonna spike now. Okay, gotta make sure he doesn't beat me so he doesn't cash out. So he's just going eighth. Yeah. I see. So. Is the buy better than Lulu? Nope. Yep. And I, I knew that on 3.7 that selling Lulu is a bad idea. And like then you're like, oh, wait, what? What What am I playing now? Where's my Lulu? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So it's always like thinking, what is my next unit? If you can't think about that, always do think about that. Mm. So why did you roll here at all? I thought I was. I could wait a few rounds. Could wait to eight. Yeah. To roll. But why? Why is that? Because I had enough HP. And gold, yeah. You have a a lot of HP and gold. Yeah. Okay. Why are we not buying the Oriana? Yeah, I think I was a bit. I wanted to keep gold for apparently no good reason. No, but you were buying XP. You weren't keeping gold. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I okay. wanted to buy my XP for whatever reason. This happened actually twice to, to a guy I was coaching, which was hilarious. Um, <laughs> why shouldn't you just buy XP here? Because you... You essentially block yourself from high rolling oh uh, no 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 oh high ro okay sorry high rolling in what what regard like if if you buy like all the units you have more choice for uh, pivoting and you keep you get to keep important units for yes, your that's, final that's one thing definitely and what's another thing that can happen this stage You may want want to roll all the gold because you're bleeding too much. Okay, but your that's not gonna be your case. Yeah. What is something that will really piss you off if it happens this stage, while you already spent a lot of gold on buying XP? Maybe someone, someone. Wants to play your comp, so you're contested? Uh, nope. I guess I have to give it to you, but like, please remember this. Yeah. Uh, there's yeah. an augment called level up. Mm, that's true. And usually, whenever I spend a lot of golden XP, it shows up to just tilt me on 4-6. On <laughs> but most of the time, I am... Smart enough, I have enough willpower and restraint not to just press the stupid F key. And I just hold my gold. I get to like 90 gold, 100 gold by by, by 4-6. If I get level up, amazing. If I don't get level up, I can just buy, buy the XP and level up here on 4-7. Get it. Yeah, that makes sense. And you're, you're going to remember this and you're going to thank me. Like, because... <laughs> Platinum augments are the, like, the prismatic augments are the most likely to show up on the third, uh, third choice. So, let's say maybe 1 in 10 games you get prismatic, and maybe in, like, one of those games, like, 1 in 5, so in, like, 1 in 50 games or whatever, you will get level up, and you'll be like, oh, thank God, I have all my gold, I can level up, I can go straight to 9, and I can destroy this lobby. So, if you're in this spot, and you don't need to level up, then uh, just do it, just do it that way. Just gifted pet soups. 
Wow, thank you. Got it. Thank you so much. Got it. Yeah. So, so would this apply, apply to other, other seasons, seasons too? too? I mean, this just applies to augments, right? Yeah. All right. But like, if if I have the gold, would it be better to just keep my bench full and then sell the units I don't need and then level up? Or like, pre-leveling like this is not better, but like... Okay. Tell me one benefit of this, of what you did. Or APN. <laughs> That's the only one I can think of. That's very weak, sir. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, you can hit, like, two-star Oriana, you can hit two-star Yone, two-star whatever, just like... And that's, like, the whole point of getting better at the game. Yep. Like, um, one of the games I played earlier, I got a fourth. I played Yone with, like, kind of scuffed items. I was going for Urgot, but then I saw, like... I scouted, I'm like, what the hell is this? There were like two people with two star Urgot and two people with one star Urgot. I'm like, okay, I have one Urgot. It's never going to happen. So mm -hmm. I was loading my bench with, with other options like Fioras and, and Yone's. And eventually I hit two star Yone and I pivoted from Urgot to Yone. I got a top four. I believe mm -hmm. I got a second that game actually. Because I pivoted my board from, from what I wanted, which was initially Urgot, into some sort of challengers of bodyguards. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah, like, good... like having these options, like you have no options. Like, yes, I don't think you're contested on Jin right now, but you still might hit a lot of Fioras and you're like, um, I, I just ignore them. Mm, that's true. So it's like about keeping as many options open because that's like the, Kind of like right now it's Kaisa meta, but like in general, it's like, oh, maybe someone hit two star Kaisa, someone hit some someone hit two star Jinx, someone hit two star Jace, two star Tom Catch. And if the legendaries are reasonably balanced, then uh any legendary is good. Two star. But that means you, you yeah. should be saving your gold and buying any legendary you find along the way. Right? And then if you two star legendary, even if it's like a shitty legendary, like um, it's a two star Jinx. I have some items. I can play her. Yeah, that's true. So here I'm really a little bit intrigued about the belt over tier. Uh, my reasoning there was that I don't have any tank items, so I wanted to make one. Hmm. Okay, um, so how many items total? Okay, whatever, let's go over it, we'll go back. Um, do you get per game? What is the minimum? The minimum, it's, you, you cannot get more than four, I think. Uh, and sorry, the minimum uh, is... components, components. So. Yeah, components is maximum four and minimum Zero? I mean, no, 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 I mean like in the whole game. Oh, in the whole game. I don't know. So it's it's 12. Well, okay. It's 12, 13, or 14. It, like, it varies. So you picked up a belt, and you might not get any other component. Because you already have 6, 11. Mm. And you definitely don't want a Banshee's Call, right? Yeah. So here it's it's Hodge because it guarantees that you make something with the glove. Yeah, that's true. Right. Uh, I didn't put that. Yeah. Okay, here... I think here it's kind of obvious, no? Uh, the Celestial is not that bad. I mean, if you made the Hodge, it's okay, but... Um, so again, I want you to tell me how many people are playing AD, how many people are playing AP in the lobby. 
I think almost all are playing AD, except maybe two. Oh, really? That's interesting. And is there something that would help you against those AD comps? Yeah, buddy, buddy guard. Right? Like, that, does that logic make sense to you? Like, would you be able to think think on the fly and make come to the same conclusion when you're playing? Yeah, I think I got baited because of the the second augment I chose. So I was like, oh, hey, 30, okay, 35%. Yeah. yeah, so it goes from 20 to 27. Oh my god, wow, okay. Yeah. But these are, okay, so... Um, What's a like? What is better, right? Is it silver tier or gold tier augments? Gold tier. Yeah. So would you have a? Would you rather have a useless silver tier or useless gold tier? Useless silver tier. Yeah. So, yeah, I agree. I think body guard would be better in that case, especially since my uh, my tank are paper thin right now you're gonna be playing galio and scion most likely right that's what you're planning to do yeah so wouldn't it be great if if scion was also a bodyguard so galio gets bodyguard it sounds a bodyguard just really tanky yeah, yeah that would would be better okay what is this <laughs> So, what is the level up here? Like, what is this for? I mean, I had enough gold. No, so. you don't have enough gold. You just wasted two. You just wasted four gold. I wasted four gold. Well, I mean, next round you level up and you don't have to spend four more gold. Like, you spend four extra gold to level up, which you wouldn't need to spend next round. So like here I would I would just pre-level like I would just buy buy experience like I would buy it till I get to 56 54 or 56 Okay Yeah, that's true. Oh, okay. I get I get what you mean and I don't know about you But I feel kind of effed here like I Have no carry I have very little direction so you're going to be rolling like a madman, hopefully on the creep round, and you need all of the gold you can get. Mm. So like that four extra gold is two extra shops. You might need to hit your Kai'Sa or something. True. And you're on a loss streak, so like getting a little bit stronger makes very little difference right now. So I do understand like, oh, it didn't actually cost me anything because I'm still at 50, but it, it cost you four extra gold that you could have used later. Yeah, 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 I get it. Good. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay, so maybe you'd have lost by like an extra unit or two. Okay, I like that you're rolling on the creep. Um, yeah, please, please, please. I, I have a... I always have this... A try to use your hotkeys more. Yeah. Because <laughs> like... Moving the mouse back and forth, it slows you down a lot. Mm -hmm. So if you can if you can start using the hotkey, it'll it'll help you improve a lot. Like I think you use the scouting hotkeys, right? Yeah. But like start using the selling hotkey, which is E, and the reroll hotkey, which is D, and the level up hotkey, which is F. Just like get in the habit, or like play a few normal games, and just like in those two three normal games, you're only gonna roll and scout and do everything with hotkeys. Because okay. when you need it. If you're if you're spending an extra half a second every round doing shit you don't need to do, it adds up. Like if you only have thirty seconds and you need to use all thirty, but you're wasting five seconds doing stuff manually instead of using hotkeys, yeah, you're gonna be weaker hmm. than you could be. Uh, so I guess thirty. Yeah, this is I kind of okay. Like I would have rolled a little bit more maybe. There's Blitzcrank. Okay, so you got lucky you high rolled. Like, you can get up to 14 items. You got up to 14, so lucky you. But, like, if you hadn't got anything, you would have to have very shit items. So this is very good. Um, okay. Um, oh, God. Uh, yeah, no. that was bad. That okay. was really bad. No, but, um, 
So let's 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 make a list. What is yeah. the first thing you should do at the beginning of a round? Roll. Correct. What yeah. is the last thing you should do, which you can even do once the like the preparation round preparation stage ends? Making items. Yes. <laughs> Because you spent like 15 seconds, 17 seconds, 18 seconds, 19 seconds. So 19, almost 20 seconds before you start rolling. Yeah. Like how the hell are you going to have enough time to actually pivot this board now? I won't. Yeah, you won't. Then that, That's the correct answer. It says like... <laughs> You got to start, like, remember, like, the importance of, of actions, right? And I do this sometimes as well. I, I, I'm not saying I don't do this, but I am aware it's a mistake. Like, there's a difference between me playing and me coaching. Like, yeah, yeah. I know what I, yeah. sometimes I play like shit, but I know what the correct way to do things is. By the way, you want to buy Blitzcrank because he's a, he's a protector. He's a protector and he's a, he's a bodyguard. Bodyguard. Yeah. Yeah. So here you have a double Yone shop as well, which I presume you ignore. Yep. And there's another Yone. So wouldn't two star Yone be better than Trundle? Yep. And there's a Braum and there's an Oriana and now you have a two star unit on your bench because you cannot do all this in ten, in, in 10 seconds, right? Oh shit, now you just wasted one gold. Yeah. Um, by the way, are you familiar with Clapio? Yep. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, one, one, one more thing. Why do you, okay. Um, why uh, do you think you should put the Zephyr on, on Galio? That was really, really fucking bad. I mean, I, I should have put it on uh, on the unit in the bench, sell it, then position it like in a good way, and no items on on Galio. In just in case I hit it, and then transferred the item from Tr Trundle to Galio. Very good. So like. You entered on many levels there. Like the fact yeah, that you yeah. kind of cock blocked your Galio from getting good items, and you didn't even use the, the Zephyr kind of cheese that you could have done. So, yeah, I, I'm glad you're aware of this. So, yeah, as long as you're aware, that's fine. So, Tarek, okay, okay, no, 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 the round is starting. No, please. <laughs> we have 42 gold. We have 42 gold, sir. Yep. Do you not need to roll for anything else? Yeah, I could have rolled for Galio, for Blitzcrank, Oriana. So okay, so um, what does this play? What what is this play saying? I hope you at least know like why you did this or like what it's indicating. What's that? Like what is the play you just made indicating? That I'm forcing Sniper? Oh, we, we knew this already. Yeah. But, but using the Nico like that. I'm playing for... Because I'm dying next turn, but I'm not, so... No, for me, it says I, I want to go 9. That's kind of the way I read it. Mm. I'm not saying it's correct, but, like, the only... The only thing that makes sense now is, like, okay, so you use the Nico so that you can keep your 50 gold so you can go 9. Which, yeah. Yep, didn't work out. Didn't work out. Yeah, my plan was to go 9, but since I kept losing, I just... Because you have no frontline items, right? Yeah. Um, so here it's definitely Tarek. Um, I would have loved to play Brom over Mundo. Right? 
Yeah, do, do I swap even if Brom is one star? Is it better? Uh, it's close. I would say so, actually. Because the stun is so big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And also, you have so much gold to roll, right? Um, another thing, and this is very frustrating. Why are you playing 3 Socialite? I don't know. I I hit those, so I just played them. But I I know that's not the good re reasoning. Okay, but what what? So like, if you're playing Brom here, right? Mm -hmm. And then you can play maybe the Oriana, right? Yeah. And cut Taric. Mm hmm. And why would you do that in this game in particular? I thought the spot was good and I had QSS, so might as well use it. But why 3 Socialite? Why is 3 Socialite redundant here? Ah, uh, yeah, because we, we already have so much healing. We already went for the Celestial Blessing and the yeah. extra shielding. That's true. So you already have 27% healing, and now you have 27 again, so it's 50, 54% healing. No, it's 30 Shit, it's 30, so it's 39 plus 27, like, do, does Jin need that much healing? Like, Jin's nope. just gonna die. Like, he either, yeah. like, Jin is one of the units who doesn't use the three socialite at all, the third one. Or, like, he doesn't even need healing at all because it's like, he's either killing shit or he's dead. Those are kind of the, yeah. the two ways Jin works. Killing shit or dead. Okay, so now they're rolling down. And we're hitting, yeah, so, uh, brum, brum. <laughs> Blitz, okay, Tarek. There, nice, nice. But it's like, here you would have hit the Jin anyway, and maybe you try to go for for the Galio. Yeah. Two-star Galio. And, yeah, so, again, um, do you realize how good TG would have been this game? Because TG would be your only frontline item. Mm -hmm. Like yes, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have uh, great items on your Jin, which are not that great anyway. Oh shit! By the way, what should you be playing with these items? Oriana. Oriana or Kaisa would be good. Kaisa, but I mean like with your augments. Wait, wait, wait. Like, you don't have to play Jin. Mm hmm. You could just play MF. That's true. With, with blue buff and archangels. Mm hmm. Right? It's like, why do you have to, like, go Jin? Yeah. No, because I'm saying, like, if you made the TG, you would still have the really good caster items. So like that yep. that's why that's why you, you want to make at least something for the front line. I think TG is probably one of the not best, but like one of the most flexible frontline items that you just slam on someone and hopefully they stay a little, alive a little bit longer. So this carousel is a complete grief. There's nothing really here. Like yeah, frozen heart makes the most sense. I'm mm -hmm. not upset about that, but like, yeah, this carousel was kind of, kind of grief. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Oh no, 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 no. Oh God. No. Uh, okay. It's not that bad. Okay. I still think Seraphine is way better than, than, isn't Seraphine way better than Tarek? Like, okay, screw the extra healing shit, but it's like, she has an AOE, right? Yeah. Actually, it works. No, it doesn't matter. It's not. It's not tied to. This shit is not tied. Oh, this wait. No, nothing is tied to enchanters. So like, Oriana healing still works, and Seraphine healing still works. So here, it's definitely. You definitely don't play the Taric here, not the Ori, not the Seraphine. Okay. But like overall, yeah, you just 
You had no front line. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's just uh You're okay with going a little bit over, right? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead. So let's just uh quickly look at this game. And now I'm just I'm just gonna like look at the biggest mistakes and just compare. The so game one just finished the the HD processing. Oh, nice! So we're on to game two. Yeah, very good. Yeah. What are these carousels? What the hell? Okay, but you got chain. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Sorry for that, by the way. Oh, I fine, should have uh, uploaded way er earlier. Okay. You go for generic. Very good. This is fine. So hopefully you are quick enough to buy the trundle. Um, oh, you got him. Nice. Nice. Yeah. I thought I, I didn't. But... Okay, so now this is easy level up for, for scrap. You play for scrap. Very good. Good spread of items. You're buying stuff to play later. What the hell? This fight I want to watch. Okay, it's a two-star Darius diff. Okay, it's a two-star Darius diff. Yeah. Oh, syn oh, actually, it's Syndicate diff, because Syndicates are freaking impossible to kill this early. You just don't have enough damage. <laughs> uh, making the Garen. I guess that's okay. Wait, what do we sell? Ziggs. We sell the Ziggs. Okay. Okay, so now we're committing to Lost Streak. Yep. So are yeah, we... I thought that was that was pretty strong, but so it's six, nine, ten. Six, nine, ten. Okay, I should. have. Because like now it's like you realize, okay, I have a one star board. Zig is not really doing anything. I might as well commit to Lost Streak. Okay, I see. Um, so, okay, go for Last Whisper. I don't hate it. Yeah, that's good. So last, I guess this is your last chance to, okay. Okay, that's fine. Level up for Garen, why not? We still keep losing. So that's why I would have committed to Lost Streak, making even, like make 10, you could have made 10 gold. You could have made 10 gold before Carousel, 20 gold after Carousel. Uh, you'd never buy this, you'd never buy this, buy this Blitzcrank. So here you sell the Garen. Yeah. So here you sell the Garen mm -hmm. and you don't buy the Blitzcrank. Okay. To make uh, interest. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Well, let me let me go over it again. So you sell the Garen. You're at 20. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, then you sell the like the Ezra and the Ziggs and you play this Blitz. And after the round starts, you buy the Blitz. Oh, I see. Okay. That guarantees you lose this round. Because you got to mm -hmm. look at, like, you got to look at these two guys and make sure you lose the round. Okay. Because if you win this round, your econ is just completely trashed. So, like, you made the blitz, but now you're at 10 instead of 20. Like, I like this. Smart play. Make sure you lose. But you're at 10 instead of 20. Indeed, yeah. That's so true. I would have made... 10 here, 20 here, 30 here, 40 here. Hmm. And yes, I would not be at 44 H at 94 HP. I would be at 80 HP. But I would be on a four loss and I would be at 40 gold. And then I would be able to shit on this lobby because I would have extremely good econ. I would get to level seven, level eight first. I would find all the good units and do whatever I want. <laughs> it's like econ is like, yeah, kind of a common trend in both of your games. Like, you just gotta work on that econ, sir. Yeah. Cause like, uh, being being this low on a four loss streak. So here you play the Mundo 
instead of the Garen. So <laughs> you want to keep the Mundo. I want to keep the Garen, I guess. Yeah, I mean, the... okay, so now that you know what you know, what should you have played this round? Wait, wait, wait. Mundo or Garen? I should have played... Maybe Ezreal and sell... No, don't sell anything. Just play two Ezreals. Yeah, two Ezreals and... If I don't get any good units, I just sell sell the board to make 30. No, you can't. You take out Mundo. Mundo and Garen are seven. Ziggs is one. Yeah, plus, so have... plus the, the cash we get from the Krugs. We don't know if we're going to cash. Mm. You, can get, you can get three items, two items and gold. You can get just gold. Like We don't know exactly what you're getting. Like we, we keep it on the bench and after we know what we get, then we can make the distance. Yeah. So cool. here, like there is no difference between playing be between playing uh, Mundo, Garrett or Ezreal. But if you had gotten three gold, then you couldn't you can't sell these two to make thirty. Yeah. yeah. So that, okay. that's why it's we, a mistake. Yeah. yeah, we're seeing the same thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, good, good. So now like now you see it. That's good. Glad that you see it. So we leveled last time. We're not leveling now because we're on a loss streak. It's fine. But yeah, I would be at 50 gold now. With, with like uh, less HP but more gold. Because I, I value I value early gold. I think I value it adequately. Because if, if I'm... Whenever I even look at NA top players like like Milk or Kuhn or Soju, like they're always going for very low, very low uh, HP but good gold. Um, okay, so this is fine because you just won right you just won so you want to keep winning hopefully oh oh no 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 now i realized something finally i get this so you played the, yep. he the game whole game wrong um what is your augment yeah metabolics yeah so it's uh, yeah. like reach get reach your times two basically. If you play it correctly. Mm -hmm. So that's why like maybe it, it sounded a little bit extreme what I was saying. I was also saying I would be at eighty HP, but yeah, that the reason why you're at ninety something HP is because of metabolic. So metabolic you can you can just you can play a lot weaker boards and greet a lot, 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 lot more. Hmm. I see, like, yeah. What does Metabolic actually do? Metabolic doesn't do much. It kind of gets you a little bit of HP. But what you can do is you lost streak like a crazy person, stage stage two up until like three two, or maybe even after uh, up until carousel, you drop down to like thirty HP, but you're actually at fifty instead of thirty, and then you go seven after carousel, and you roll down for for an extreme mid game spike. Hmm. And that's just like playing your playing to your augment. Yeah. Good so point. Good point. So it's just like yeah, having realizing okay, this augment like abusing every augment to its maximum potential. Mm. And you just have to kind of like think about the augment, think about the possibilities. Yeah. I know it's it's not easy, but like that's what I love about TFT. It's a very complex game. Indeed, yeah. So yeah, you're you're. Beating them pretty hard, very good. Um, I guess we want another bow. I guess we go for, I guess belt. You learned your lesson. You want more front line. Oh shit! Okay, we hit. We hit something. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm That's good. Good enough. Yeah. Happy with this. Happy with the warm marks. You made it on time, so that. You actually use the scrap buff correctly. Yeah, this is okay. So I go over Zig. That's not bad. Your like now your econ's on track. Yeah, but it just it took you a few more rounds that I would have liked to get your econ on track. Yeah. 
I would have more gold, even. Yep. But, what is happening now? You're not using your augment, right? You're already at 100 HP. So you're still True. selling shit. I, there's no need to sell shit. You have enough to keep everything. Just keep stuff. Um, okay, um, what is slightly better than Shaco here? Wait, wait, wait. Um, it's very marginal, but like, why not? Lulu? Try again. I mean, Lulu's not that bad, but like, I get why you're go I get why you're playing Shaco, but there's some something that's better than Shaco for what you want. Wait, maybe Katarina. Yeah, Katarina, Katarina gives you academy, right? Yeah, and Katarina uh, also does uh, AP damage. Mm -hmm. Right, so it's like it's always the mix yeah, of yeah. AD and AP. That's why like Urgot comp is not that amazing all the time because you're kind of forced a lot. Like you usually have a lot of AD. And if people notice that and play bodyguards, it's kind of tough. That's why a lot of them um, build more uh, AP like Shiv. Yeah. And that way you kind of have some... Comp yeah, so you lost, which is actually kind of okay because you've, you're using the augment. Because if you're at 100 HP, your, your augment does nothing. Mm. You're buying Spear again. Yeah. You're not letting yourself high roll because you're hard forcing something or like you're hard committed to something. This could still be a Jin game. So like you should be picking up bodyguards. You should be picking up other stuff. Like mm -hmm. why is this an god game? It can be, might as well be a Jin game. Yep. We make the GA. Okay, so now it's like even more committed, but we can still go Yone here if we get the, the option. We get Chemtech. Okay, why not? We level up here. Not the worst, but again, again, you just lost once, so it's like you, you wasted again uh, four gold. Yep. Even though you think it's nothing, it, it, it is four gold. You could have also bought the, the Vi, for example, or the Trundle, which you can't do now because you'd, you'd not be at 50. Hmm. You're rolling on the creep round, which I understand. Um, so you're not letting yourself high roll here. What if you get Zach three? That's pretty cool. Yep. I don't know why you're not buying the Vi for more bruisers, just for now. Fiora is good. Yeah, you should get the Vi. Okay. See? Just... Just... Uh, just. <laughs> Let the game give you a three-star unit for free. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Buy the list. Okay, you missed the list. Because you have four chemtech, don't you want five? Yeah, that would be pretty good. Instead of a blitz. I don't know why the blitz is still there. And you need to make a stone plate. I don't know why you have Brom and Oriana and those guys. You're playing... You know the Chemtech comp, right? Like, yeah. there's your Chemtech. So I don't know why you're keeping the other shit on your bench. You already you already have everything you need, right? Okay, yeah, sure. Echo. Get rid of Echo. And then... It... Um, I guess Hodge and... Yeah, okay. So, but yeah, 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 there we go. Okay, so... Why is that a garbage play that you just made? I could have shroud. No, 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 no. I mean the putting it on on Brom. Because yeah, Zach is two star. And. Oh, and um, Blitz already has Warmog. So why not put it on Blitz then? No, no, no. You, you don't want Blitz or Braum. But Zach is two star and... Chemtech? 
Yeah, you're playing five chemtech. Yeah. So don't you want a chemtech tank, which can actually utilize a tank item, and on top of it gets more damage reduction from chemtech? Yeah, that's true. So either Mundo or Zack. Yeah, I mean, it's always two-star Mundo or Zack, but like right now, Zack is two-star. Could have been three-star okay. if you if you wanted to three-star him, but you're like, no, thank you. Please, I don't want to high roll this game. Don't don't let me high roll. I don't want a three-star Zack. Um, so just like buy that shit. Maybe like if you have the gold, it only costs you one gold. So like if you get like six, seven, eight Zacks, like yeah, it costs you a bit of econ to hold them. But if you hit a three-star Zack, he's a he's a big ass tank. Mm. And then you definitely yeah. put like then you definitely put like tech items on him. But yeah, the fact that you're running the fact that you're running this instead of a fucking buy buy Trundle over these two because Trundle gives you gives you scrap and bruiser and Vi gives you bruiser and sister mm. right I don't know yeah, why so social like, like, yeah sorry I'm half committing yeah but like you don't want to have half and half especially yeah. if it's like if it's just a fucking one star brom like if it was like maybe a two star brom I would kind of think about it but it's a one star brom bro Sure, that's true. And why is Victor getting the socialite, not Urgot? <laughs> <laughs> is Victor doing anything? Yeah, look at that. Victor no. doesn't do anything. Yeah, yeah. Look again and think about it. Victor does nothing. Yeah. Victor might not even cast. He didn't cast again. Yeah, so imagine if Urgot was on socialite spot doing 20% more damage. Uh huh. Two star jinx. Very good. They let you take out. They shouldn't have. That's that's dumb. Even with that, I just. I'm. I think I'm not even in top four. How, oh, dude? Yeah. So, but you see the mistakes now, right? Yeah. So why do you have this much freaking gold? <laughs> so either re level up or go nine but like don't just slow roll for uh mm. you can't just slow roll like yeah and you have a Tarek and now you're rolling again a little just like you're rolling a little bit it's just like you want to roll a little bit but you're not really sure if you want to roll and now you're rolling like now you're rolling at the worst possible moment right right before the creep round yeah this is where you can get interest here and here so you miss out on a lot of gold and you're yeah, yeah and you're just Okay, so it's not even about the Urgot comp. It's just you're either playing bruisers or you're playing bodyguards mm -hmm. in your final comp. Like mid game, it doesn't matter. You can play both, but like late game, you're not playing. Like you're not playing uh, a mishmash of this shit. Like okay, imagine if you actually had double warmogs and uh, the stone plate on Mundo. Nobody's killing that fucker. He has damage with... Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, he has... Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. So, it's Janna for sure. I don't know why you're playing Seraphine. Like, nobody... Like, typically, you don't play Seraphine in this comp. So, hmm. you should try to... We, we Like, you should try to play maybe, like, uh, Yumi Janna instead. And definitely... Or, like, the Vi... Like, Vi and Tom Kench. Or Vi and Trundle. Right? So, you have... Yeah. More bruisers. And you're still slow rolling, which is just, it's like the biggest grief you can do. Because, like, you're never getting to nine and you're not really hitting shit. Yeah. So, like, this is not allowed. Okay, late game. Late game, you either roll it the fuck down and you hit something, or you save up gold and go nine. Okay. Because, like, now you roll down. But now it's too late. Yep. Oh, now you level up. But then why the fuck did you roll, like, all of these rounds before? Yeah, that, it, it doesn't, doesn't make sense. sense. Yeah, so I'm, I'm glad it does, like, now it's like, there's like a certain continuity to the game. Like, either I'm desperate, I'm fucked, I'm rolling. Are you fucked and you do need to roll now? No, you're 62 HP. You just yeah. chill. You chill, you econ, you have the lost streak, win streak, whatever, but you're econing. But this is like, I'm never actually getting any fucking gold. And then it's like, I, I desperately level up, and it's just too little too late. Mm. So, like, I hope it, it kind of makes sense 
why the game ended the way it ended. Now yeah, that we discussed sense. it. Yeah? Yep. Okay? Yep. 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 So, any, any like, follow-up questions to any of this? Um, I have some notes here. All right. Let's go for them. The first one... Okay, the second one is... Uh, it's hard for me to balance carry items with tanks items. Like, okay. is there a priority? Or should I make, like... Half and half. Yeah, What's I would go for like two carry items at most. Okay. So like, what does Jin need the most? Okay, so... Like what is the one carry item that all of the AD carries need right now? Last, Last Whisper? Whisper? Yeah. And what is the item that like two thirds of them still need it? Even after tomorrow's nerf to it, they will probably still need it. GA? Yeah. All right. So we go for GA, Last Whisper, and then we try to- And then we to... go for Bramble, Declaw, Warmog, Stoneplate, this shit. Okay, I see. And yeah, some games you will end up like, my game, I got a fifth. Last game on stream, I got a fifth. And I'll quickly, I'll quickly open it up. And let me read out my phenomenal items that I ended up because, like, yeah. So my items were GA, Rageblade, Morello, GA, IE, Q, uh, and uh, then I had a Zephyr and a Shroud. Mm. So those items were, were not that great. Yeah, sometimes you just... I was not too happy about these items. And it's just, I made a GA, then I made another GA, and then, oh yeah, I got the IE off of Carousel, by the way. So I only had this. I only had these items. Yeah. And then and a second GA. So I had two GAs, Rageblade, Morello, and then I had a Zephyr, a Shroud, and oh, and I picked up a Spatula. So that was my mistake, picking up a Spatula. So it's like I had a Spatula, yeah. and then I had to use Bow to make Challenger Spat. It was just all terrible. Hmm. And I realized, I was like, okay, so... I should have focused on some defensive items and then some offensive items. All right. Huh. And so, yeah. last question would be... Uh, it's hard to know when to greed for top one and when to roll for top four. Okay. Like, is there a... Um, like, is there a threshold, like, if you don't hit that, that unit, that carry on 4-1 or... Five one, then you play for top four, or is there other kind of rules? Um, okay, so it's like how strong. Okay, so if you actually like, even even if the shit board you had, like you had the the um, the bodyguards instead of the the bruisers, right? Yeah. <laughs> so typically, you're rolling until you hit a spike. So now you have to start regard, and this is your mm -hmm. board. You just chill the fuck out. So here you sell, 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 sell. So from this spot, if you sell this garbage as well, you're at 30 gold and you're playing for like a top two. Okay. Because your board is is pretty stable. Like especially like okay. sell the Oriana and sell the Taric if you want to play the, the Brom. Okay, I see. So you're at 30 gold. Now we have, you have you would be at forty gold, so thirty gold, forty gold, fifty gold. Did you? <laughs> I don't know if you rolled here, but you're at fifty gold. And now you just start pushing levels, and you get to nine. Okay. So like, oh. but this is like the trend throughout the whole game. You level up and roll. It's like it's like bursts. So like, level up roll? You should do it a little bit on six. You can roll a little bit when you level up, maybe hit some upgrades. Maybe you can do it again on seven and then do a bigger bigger one on eight. And then mm. like, okay, this board is almost good enough. Right, like if you were playing, again, if you were playing Trundle and Vi, you would be a lot stronger. Mm -hmm. 
So it was a if would if it would be a two star Trundle, two star Vi. And then with this board you can just go nine and add like a Janna Yumi or like <laughs> add a Chase, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All so right, it's it's right. kind of like a it's like, like a feel thing. Um but it's like you just chill and you see, okay, my board is is losing. Can I get stronger? And the like the answer is you realize it way too late. The answer here is you actually cannot get stronger on eight by much. Yeah. So the best yeah. way to get stronger is by leveling up and playing like a two star victor or a two star Jace or something like some big hitting legendary. Mm -hmm. Which you cannot do because you keep rolling every round and then <laughs> you finally decide to level up when it's like when the game is over. Like when you're when you're dead. Instead of leveling up on six two with like thirty gold to roll. Like if you chilled mm -hmm. from Wait, you're still you're rolling already. Fuck. Yeah, you're at 50 here. 40, okay, so you're at 50 here. So if you chilled here, it's like 50 gold, 60 gold, 70 gold, or like, yeah, even more, 80 gold, 90 gold, 100 gold, um, 110 gold, it costs 60 to level. So you have, oh shit, you, you're at level nine with 50 gold to roll. You'd be at yeah. level nine with 50 gold to roll here if you didn't fuck about those last couple of rounds. Do you, right. Like, do you see, like, how you lost the game here? Like, how you lost yourself the game by yeah. kind of rolling a little bit? It's yeah. like you either roll all the way or you chill and you try to level. Mm. But by doing a little bit of each, like, I think that was the, like, the issue in the previous game as well. Like, you were doing a little bit of each. You got to yeah. commit to one thing. Okay. That's like the... <laughs> The essence of mark of management, like make a fucking decision. Even if it's a bad decision, you gotta make one. So my decision is I'm gonna roll the fuck down and hit something, or my decision is I'm gonna level up. But your decision is I'm gonna roll here and there and never have any gold, <laughs> or like not have enough gold. Like yeah. So yeah. Hmm. So it's just like one one option or other option. So any yeah, any any closing thoughts, sir? No, that's that's pretty much it. So I I hope you got what you came for. Yeah, yeah, thanks. You're welcome. And let's close out the video. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed me coaching Romaki.